Welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals, from quantity surveyors and commercial builders through to residential builders and subcontractors. In this video, I'll be taking off a concrete slab, showing you how to measure your strip footings and also calculate how much mesh you need for a job. Let's get started. I have already inserted and scaled a plan, and as you can see in my estimate, I have five items ready to be taken off. We have our strip footings, our edge form, our trench mesh, our slab, and our reinforcement mesh for the slab. Cubit can take off all of these items at once. By holding down shift, I can select a range of items and take them off all at once. I'll select my polyline tool and come over to my new task pane and call this shape slab perimeter. I'll change my volume depth to 150 mil and change my trench width to 300 mils keeping the depth at 600. Then I simply work around my plan from point to point to take off the edge of my slab. Remember if you do make a mistake like so you can push Control Z on your keyboard to go back to the last node you've created and continue working. As we come to the very end of our shape, we need to create a curve by starting at the beginning of the curve, holding down the left mouse button and dragging back onto myself, I can quickly and accurately create that curve. As you see, as soon as the shape is completed, my quantities are filled and we are ready to move to the next stage of our estimate. we can see that we have different result types happening all at once. Our excavation for our strip footings is being measured in a volume by length result type. Following our external perimeter and utilizing the trench width and trench depth that we set earlier in the new task pane. Bringing us to a total result of 14.64 cubic meters for excavation. Our edge form to our slab is measuring the perimeter at 81.33 meters. Our trench mesh is also measuring in a length result type. And we know that this item comes in six meter lengths. So to find out how many lengths of trench mesh we need, we can do a simple factor conversion. Firstly, I'm going to bring in my aggregate quantity column. Secondly, we can use the factor column here in our estimate to change our quantities. As we know we've got 6 meters per unit, we can divide our quantity by 6, 1 divided by 6. As you can see we end up with a factor of 0.17 and our aggregate quantity now reflects that we need 13.55 lengths of trench mesh for this job. Our slab on ground has been measured correctly at 150 mils and is also utilizing that external perimeter to bring us to 38.02 cubic meters. Lastly, our reinforcement mesh for our slab. There are a number of ways that Cupid can work this out. The more simple way is to measure our area and utilize the factor column to change that square meter measurement to our mesh size of 2.4 by 6 meters. To do that, we can enter a formula in our factor of 1 divided by 
open brackets, 2.4 times 6, close brackets, and we push enter, our aggregate quantity will now show that we need 17.6 sheets of mesh to complete this job. So as you see, takeoff with Qubit is quick, simple, and accurate. By creating one shape across five different line items, we were able to get an instant quantity to each of those items. Then we converted two of those measurements by using our factors. There are a couple of other things you might need to know, such as the length by center result type, which we cover in another how-to video. Don't forget to check out our YouTube series for more information. And remember that we're here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information that will help you with using Qubit. Happy estimating.